welcome back to another episode. Uh, I know things look a little bit different, so I decided to actually change texture packs because I noticed I was getting a little bit of lag, and I didn't think that that would be good when we're fighting off evil. The evil druids coming through the portals. So um, I decided to take it back old school and go to the OG Oasis texture pack. So I'll update the website blog post with all that info for you guys um, if you want to know. And I'm also going to be doing some adjustments here and there like the glass and the doors and the bookshelves and the chests and everything. So it'll be a work in progress. But today we are going to make some progress. I'm so excited for this. We need to make a resonating wand. But before I do that, I need to kill an enderman and get an ender pearl. Or maybe I could go visit the village to see if they have anything in their chests. And then we got to make this luminous crafting table. I also have to make the city marble. Um, so I need to get let's get some coal in our inventory here. So I put all of the marble that I collected in here. So let's just take some of this. I'm pretty sure I need to go to the actual crafting table over at the altar. All right, let's see if I can actually make a bed before I go out because it is dangerous out there. I don't know if I could do it with these different types of wool. Yay, a bed! Finally, I can sleep. I've been awake for so long. I'm going to go up to my house or to my room. Oh my gosh, my... Hey! What is going on here? Did these just literally teleport in? I am so confused. I don't even know if I should trust this bed. I have awakened from a strange dream. You quickly write it down before the memory fades. <gasps> it did say, it, it did say that if I sleep and if I get some rest, do I have anything in this chest? Nothing in my ender chest. I am so confused right now. My house is looking so sad. <laughs> it's looking so sad. I think I'm going to decorate my house in the next episode, but let's go ahead and get into the card for today's episode. And the card that I pulled for you all is Discover. Discover yourself and try something new and get yourself out of your comfort zone. Some of us are searching for something and don't quite know what it is yet. Things are not always as they seem. So when you're actively searching and looking and open to discovering, that's when things get pulled to the surface and you have a realization and a different outlook on things. So get out there and discover. That's what I'm going to be doing today. We are just getting started discovering starlight. And so let's go ahead and head back to our shrine. Let's go inside. All right, it's still pulling starlight. So let's see if I could actually craft the sooty. There we go. We got sooty marble. All right. And then in order to craft the luminous crafting table, I just need another crafting table, sooty marble, and then any sort of marble on the side. So I do have some wood with me. I can create another crafting table. Let's get this bad boy in here. We got marble on the side and sooty marble. <gasps> You learn more about exploration. Okay, so I think in my book, <gasps> look at this. Another galaxy has appeared or another gas cloud. Whoa, okay. So a bunch of other items have unlocked and it looks like these are like connected. So there is so much for us to explore. <gasps> More liquid starlight. Oh my gosh. Maybe I should just focus on one research at a time. I know I made this one, but uh, I haven't made a resonating wand. Um, and that's the only thing that I need. So let's try to get an ender pearl. Let's go to our little village over here and see if they have um, any chests for us. Look at the baby cow. Oh, it's a calf. 
thirsty. Okay, so by the time I get to the village, hopefully it'll be nighttime. And hopefully we can run into an Enderman. Um, because we need to we need to get his pearls. Okay, we got some husks already. Oh, some spiders. I really hope that I don't die in this village or run into any druids coming through portals. Gotta keep an eye out, you know. Um, let's go ahead and check the chests inside if there are any. Um, there's none in here, but I could take these bookshelves for decoration. Definitely taking these bookshelves. All right, let's check inside here. Ooh, what's in this chest? Wow. Oh, hi, sir. Where did you come from? I'm just looking, you know, um, oh, I could collect the hives. Let's take this. Unlit candles. I'm taking all of your candles. Okay. And then you have bees in here. Oh my gosh. Who remembers this moon? <laughs> I need to seriously update this. I like the moon for the other one. Hey, don't lock me in here. Don't lock me in. I know you guys are scared. But listen. I'll protect you. These are just like the weirdest little entrances here. I hear a spider coming after me. But you can't come in the house, can you, spider? No, you can't because you're too big. Ow! Ooh, I got string. Someone, oh, there's a witch! Where did she come from? What are you even doing here? No! Oh, great. Great, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just come out the back way. I'm making a run for it. I'm not even gonna try. I don't wanna be poisoned. She's crazy. So my main mission for tonight, I have to find, I have to find an Enderman. There's one. Oh my gosh. Okay, so, oh, there's two. I know they hit very, very hard, so I'm kind of nervous. Is the witch still coming after me? I kind of want to be like inside of a house. What is that noise? I'm so scared right now. Oh, he's coming, he's coming. Okay, 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 okay. Can he attack me in water? He doesn't like water, right? Right? Oh, get away, stay away! He doesn't like the water. Yes, this is a great way to attack him. Oh, okay, am I gonna kill him? Yes, yes, I got a pearl! Wait a minute. I realize there's something in my inventory. <gasps> it's a strange dreams written by Eyes Cupquake. What does it say? I had a strange dream last night. In the dream, I took three of those crystals I've been finding and ground them with a handful of redstone in a bowl using a piece of flint. The crystals had to be of different types, but if I did it properly, then the result was a strange glowing dust. In the dream, I took the dust and sprinkled it on a bookcase, but the dream ended before I saw what happened. I wonder, should I do what the dream showed? I have the impression the dust was going to reveal something wondrous but dangerous. <gasps> what? Oh gosh, I'm scared. I'm gonna save this dream for another time because I'm honestly a little bit scared. I don't know what's gonna happen. Uh, let's go ahead and craft uh, our wand. So I'm just grabbing all my aquamarine. I have my marble and my ender pearls. Let's go back to the shrine and see what we could do with this wand. Okay, we've made it back to the shrine. I am so excited to see what we could do with this wand. So I gotta put my crafting table down. 
and it's getting the starlight. I think it was something like this and then the two aquamarines on the side. <gasps> A resonating wand. Okay, I don't know what we can do with this. But I guess let's let's read up on it a little bit more. The resonating wand also has some other curious properties. When it's held in either hand at night, it vibrates and emits energetic sparks of light that gather in seemingly random locations around the surface of the land. Nothing seems out of place or special on the surface, though. Maybe there's something deep in the ground. Okay, so I think we're going to have to wait till night. Um, the sun is setting already. I'm going back home. And I'm really excited for this because now we actually have our luminous crafting table. Which we can gather starlight ourselves uh, without using the crystal. So I, I'm excited for nightfall. All right. I'm coming to the desert back here because there's still a storm. <laughs> it's a little bit more well lit. I really should. Can I put some candles down? Maybe I have to light them. Okay, let's hold this wand in our hand. Out in a desert storm does not seem like a good idea. I see it! Oh my gosh! That's the light it was talking about. Maybe we should... Maybe we should dig. Let's go dig here. Oh, they're all over! Alright, um... I think it looks like it's coming from right here, but... I'm scared of monsters. <laughs> I don't want to dig straight down. So, let's just... Let's just dig in this area. There seems to be a lot over here. Okay, I should have brought some torches with me. I am not prepared. It's so dark and scary. Let me cut down this tree to get some wood so I can make some torches. Oh! Uh. Sorry, pig. I don't mean to disturb your sleep. <laughs> Um, just gathering some wood, though. There's a spider. Oh, oh, there's a spider. Don't make me attack this precious little pig while he's sleeping. Do not. Do not. I won't. <laughs> okay, I, <laughs> I just can't get over how <laughs> that pig looks. just iron. <laughs> I got excited. Well, I need iron anyways, so that's that. I hit bedrock. What? I don't understand. Maybe I have to dig directly down. Uh, wait, what's this? <gasps> Rock crystal ore. Am I going to be able to mine it? I need diamond! Cry! I need to find diamond! You know what? There might be some diamond in that chest over there. Now that I have some more armor, um, there was a little, a little house. And actually, I see one over there, too. Should we go check it out? Let's, let's go check it out. So I'm in this little house. Uh, let's, let's go down here. The zombie! Die! Oh no, we got a spawner! Die! I have to kill the spawner, or maybe I won't kill it so I could... I can't spam. Alright, let's light this bad boy up. So nothing spawns. I don't know if that's gonna work. Anything? Anything? Gold? Antlers? Enchanted book? Gunpowder? And then... I don't know if this stuff is. Rotten flesh. Okay, well, I'm leaving... There was nothing in there for me. Skeleton horse! Oh no, hunty! What? Oh no. Oh no. I'm gonna be trapped. I'm gonna be trapped over here. Freaking run! I don't know what that is. 
I don't know what that is. <laughs> What are those and why are they in my backyard? They have enchanted bows. All right, so I just got some more food for a little journey here. And I think I'm gonna go out and explore straight ahead haven't really gone straight. We went that way. We know there's a village over there. So I'm curious to see if there's anything straight over here. I am, I'm a little worried though, guys, because there's things that are just spawning in that are so dangerous. Why are they so many mobs in the daytime? <laughs> so many mobs. All right. We're just running. It looks like we have a big jungle over here. Ooh, what's this? Lime. <gasps> There's an island up there. We got some open water over here. Let's check to see. Still jungle. What the heck? We have some slimes. I think they fell from the island. Wait a minute. I think uh, we. Oh, a village! Yes! Okay, I better do this quick because the sun is setting. I don't want to get stuck. Let's go check some chests. I don't know if diamonds actually spawn in chests. So, oh my gosh, so many white peacocks. I love them. I'm really hoping to find some diamonds. If I had any emeralds, I'd be able to. Okay, uh, where to search? No. Let's try to do this really quick. Are you stuck? Poor fella. Can't get out of his house. Oh my gosh, this is adorable. Um, okay, no diamonds in there. Villagers, I'm here to steal your diamonds if you have any. It would be much ap appreciated. What the heck is that? This looks like, um, like another shrine, but a smaller one. Um, okay, sun is going down. Uh, let's just dig in. I don't know if uh, this one... I think this might just be a smaller one. I don't think that this has any... Anything underneath it. But maybe there is something... <gasps> yes! A chest! Please, please have diamond. Please have diamond. Oh... My gosh, I'm taking all of these. We got some constellation paper. Okay, so these are new. I, I learned Visio and Decidia. So these ones are different. Oh no, the sun is setting. I gotta get home. I gotta get home. Um, what are these? These are the two new ones. So we learned Visio, which looks like another constellation, and Decidia. Oh my gosh. Okay. All right. I don't know if there's any more chests. I guess let me check this last one. Does it seem like it was just underneath the pillars? Um, I could collect this stuff later. Oh my gosh. Nope. Nope. Uh, um, I'm just gonna, I'm just, villagers, you're gonna be my new friends till the morning. I guess it's time for me to go home. Thank you for letting me talk your ear off. It was very nice to meet you, sir. I'm sure we'll cross paths again. Uh, good luck with your business. And um, I'll see you later. Goodbye. A diamond pickaxe. Yeah. So there was a ton over here. Does it move? There's a lot right here. Should I just try right here? 
And hopefully, I wonder if I use this at night still. Does it show? Technically, I'm still getting the... Is it glowing? It's glowing! I see it glowing down there. Okay. It looks like it's really far down. We're gonna find it. I've hit bedrock. I have hit bedrock, but we found iron, so it's not all lost. I am... I don't know what to do. Where is it? Are you still down? Wait, right here is glowing. <gasps> we found it! Oh, rock crystal ore. Okay, get over here. This is what we need for those crafting recipes. Okay, we have... Oh, they don't stack. How much is it worth? <gasps> wow, okay, they don't even stack. All right, well, um... I guess the way that I should get out of here is just build straight up, right? But was there more around this area? Because since I'm already down here... I feel like it would make sense, right? I don't see anything else glowing. Okay, we finally found one. I'm going to make this safe so no one falls down here. Um, but I'm not even sure... Is it still glowing around here? I think... I think I actually got it. So there was only one in this area. <gasps> wow. Okay, so... Look, the one that I mined is gone. So, okay. That makes sense. Good to know. But well, there's more over there that we can mine. I think this strategy is a good one. But I got two out of that. And I think if I were to enchant... So let's head back. I think if I were to enchant my um pickaxe my diamond pickaxe maybe we can get a better chance to get more minerals so i think that's what i'll have to do all right time to go home so these guys were actually used in a light well so i could actually create one of those which would be really cool to see and then i can create liquid starlight buckets a looking glass Oh my gosh. Should we make one of these? This is easy to make. So I'm pretty sure to be able to craft a looking glass, I am going to have to use starlight in the crafting table. So I think I want to put down my luminous crafting table. Um, I'm going to put it down here so I don't have to keep running back to the shrine and I can collect starlight myself. And we are going to put it up here somewhere because I really like the way that it is so high and close to the sky. I feel like it's a perfect place for it, either up there or up there. But I'm going to have to do a little bit more work on it. Maybe next episode we can decorate and spruce up our house a bit. But thank you all so much for watching. I seriously cannot wait to discover what is going on with the starlight.